In this video, we're going to look at how to form algebraic expressions. So the first example says, at a cafe, a cup of coffee costs 75p. Write down an expression for the cost in pence of x cups of coffee. So one cup will cost 75p. Two cups will cost pound fifty. Three cups will cost £2.25. Notice we're multiplying 75p by how many cups we want to buy. Well, if I want to buy x cups of uh, coffee, what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply 75p by x. Well, in algebra, remember, if you want to multiply 75p by x, the number of cups, remember, you don't write the multiplication sign, so you just put them together. So it'd be 75x. And then that would, that would be how you'd work out the cost in pence. So for instance, one cup, you would do 75 times one. 2 cups, 75 times 2, and so on. Okay, our next question. Small posters cost 8 pence each. Large posters cost 12 pence each. Write down an expression for the cost in pence of x small posters and y large posters. Okay, well, we'll buy an x small posters, and they cost 8p each. So one poster will cost 8p. Two posters will cost 16p. Three posters would cost 24p. You'd multiply the 8p by how many posters, small posters there are, to find the cost for the small posters. So for the small posters, it's going to be 8x. That means 8 times 8p times how many posters you want to buy. For the large posters, it would be, we have got, uh, it's y posters at 12p each, so it'd be 12 times y. And it wants the total cost, so it's going to be 8x plus 12y. That means to find the total cost, you would do 8 times the number of small posters, add 12 times the number of large posters, and that would give you the price in pence altogether. Our next example. A cafe also sells cakes and buns. Write down an expression for the cost in pence of y cakes at 40 pence each and 3 buns at 60 pence each. Well, y cakes at 40 pence each, well, their total cost would be 40 times y. 40 times y of 40y. And 8 buns at 60 pH, well, 8 60s is pound eighty, but it's in pence, so that's 180 pence. So plus 180 pence. And that would be the total cost. So it says write down the expression for the cost of y cakes at 40 pence each, so that's 40 times y, and then plus our 180 pence. Okay, this time it's a different type of context. We're looking at the ages of people. Anne is x years old. David is three years younger than Anne. And the first question says, write down an expression for David's age. Well, she's X and he's three years younger. So if she was 30, he'd be 27. If she was 100, he'd be 97. If she was eight, he'd be five. You're taking off three years from her age. So his age would be X take away three because he's three years younger. Next, it says, write down an expression for Ken's age. Well, Ken is twice as old as Anne. So if Anne was 10, Ken would be 20. If Anne was 7, Ken would be 14. He's double her age. He's twice as old. So we need to multiply x by 2. And in algebra, that would be 2x. And then it says here, form an equation x and use it to work out Anne's age. Well, let's read the rest of the question. So the rest of the question says, the total of their ages is 25. So we need to add Anne's age, x, David's age, x minus 3, and Ken's age, 2x, and that would equal 25 years old. So her age is x, the total, remember, means add them all up, plus David's age, which is x minus 3, and add Ken's age, which is 2x, and it says the total is 25. So we put that equal to 25. Let's simplify. x plus x is 2x, plus 2x is 4x. So we've added the x's up to get 4x, but we've still got minus 3 the left hand side and that equals 25. Now if you don't know how to solve this watch the video and solve an equation on corporatemaths.com. Now we've got 4x minus 3 equals 25 so we want to get rid of the minus 3 so we're going to do the opposite to both sides of the equation so we're going to add 3 to both sides of the equation. Adding 3 to the left hand side gets rid of the minus 3 so you would just be left with your 4x. On the right hand side you would get 25 plus 3 is 28. Now we've got 4 times x, we want to get rid of the times by 4, so we're going to divide both sides by 4. So dividing the left hand side by 4, well 4x divided by 4 is 1x, or x, and 28 divided by 4 is 7. So we get x equals 7. Now the question says work out Anne's age, and Anne is x years old, she's, uh, Anne is 7 years old. 
If it wanted to know how old David was, David is three years younger. Well, that's going to be four years old for David. And Ken is twice as old as Anne. Well, if Anne's seven, he would be 14. And you could just check that. Seven plus four plus 14. If you add those together, you would get 25. So we've done that question correctly. And our last example. Here we've got, it says Meg's lucky number is X. Tim's lucky number is one more than hers. Well, if hers was six, his would be seven. If hers was nine, his would be 10. So we're gonna add one to get his lucky number. So this is write down the expression for Tim's lucky number. That's gonna be X plus one. Jenny's lucky number is double Meg's lucky number. Well, hers is X and we wanna double it. That means multiply it by two. Well, two times X in algebra is two X. The next question says, this flow diagram shows how Sam's lucky number is connected to Meg's lucky number. So Meg's lucky number is X, and it says subtract three and then multiply by two, and that's Sam's lucky number. Well, there's two different ways to do this. Well, the first bit is we're gonna do X and we're gonna take away three, so that'll be X minus three. So we've got X minus three. And then we need to multiply by two. Well, multiplying this by two would be, well, double X is two X, and double minus three would be minus six. So the answer would be two X minus six. Some people, instead of multiplying this x minus three by two, would just write it in a bracket, two bracket x minus three. But if you expanded that, you get the same thing. So just to recap on part C, Meg's lucky number is three, or Meg's lucky number is x, and it says subtract three. Well, that was x subtract three. And then it says multiply by two. Well, timesing x minus three by two gives you two x minus six. And then that's her, that's Sam's lucky number, and that's your two marks.